Hi everybody, my name's Claire. I've just mixed up this beautiful Prussian blue, dark blue. Um, I'm going to use it for a base colour. I'm going to do some of my Dutch pour blooms on top. Um, so just, just a happy floral painting. Um, so with some happy colours. Let me show you the colours I've chosen. These are my colours. So the base is this, De La Rowney Prussian Blue. I'm going to put a hint of Pebio Iridescent Green Yellow in it, just to give just a slight variation to the base. And then the flowers are going to be these colours. So Amsterdam Venetian Rose, Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Red Blue, and the iridescent silver. They're all mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, um, which is two parts flood fluoratrol to one part paint to three quarters of a part water except for the iridescent colours, in fact, these three, which are one part water. So two parts flood fluoratrol, one part paint and one part water. But I'll put the recipe in the description for you as well. This is a 30 centimetre canvas. So first of all, I'm going to just cover the base in the Prussian blue. So I'll just put the paint in the centre and then I'll blow it out with the hairdryer till it's covered and, and even and smooth. You know, I think I've decided I'm going to leave the green out because I think it will totally change the feeling of this painting. I think I'm just going to stick to these beautiful colours. I think the green would just add too much contrast. Um, right, so to create the blooms, I'm going to do little puddles. And then I've got here my Amsterdam white paint mixed with Australian uh, Floetrol, three parts Australian Floetrol to one part um, Amsterdam white paint. So that's my cell activator. Um, so I'm going to put down, let's think about what order to put this in. So first color I'm gonna put down is the Venetian Rose. And I'm just going to um, randomly scatter the flowers over here. There's not going to be really any pattern or reason for where these are going. Just trying to get them nice and evenly spaced and not too close together. Because I always, I always get them too close together and then they end up squashing each other. Come in with some silver. Um, if you do drip like that, do not worry at all. Simply just touch it and it goes away. You just pick up that paint on your finger and it just vanishes. Right, so now for some cell activator. So this cell activator is a bit thicker. So I just want a nice little dollop in the centre of each one. Nice little spot. In fact, because that's sinking slightly, I'm going to blow those out now and then do, do more. Wow, 
the combination is beautiful i've got this amazing iridescent red blue line around the edge of these flowers and then the blue shining through wow what a color scheme right let's keep going Right, really, really happy, absolutely loving this. I've got a little bit of work to do. I'm gonna put another flower here and maybe there, just to fill in any big gaps. Right, I'm now just going to blow around the edges just to um, even everything up a little bit. So, for example, there's not really much blue in between here, but there's loads here. So I'm just going to fiddle around just to get it looking more uniform, I think, across the canvas. Right, composition wise, I think this is working really well because I've got flowers going off over all edges, but I've actually got four blue corners still. So I'm quite liking this composition. So next thing I'm going to do is I've just got a plastic stick. It's actually a paintbrush that's lost its head. And I'm just going to drag the blue into the center a little bit just to create the impression of petals in these in these flowers so here is the wet result i'm so happy i have never used this color combination before the iridescent red blue and prussian blue wow it is gorgeous um loving absolutely loving these colors um, the silver is a little bit lost. I think the silver might show up more when it's dry, actually. Um, oh, actually, no, you can see it there. Because it's iridescent, I think it will help with a lot of shimmer um, and a lot of sparkle. I think it really will show up. But wow, that basically that ready colour and the blue, absolutely gorgeous. Um, the cell activator has just created absolutely beautiful um, ne um, a network of lacing, and cells and details in the middle of each of the blooms. Um, I've added little swirly bits here um, and I added little swirly bits in between um, some of the flowers just to pull it together because I think there's sometimes if, if you don't do that and there um, it just the flowers just all look very separate but just a bit too random sometimes so I think I, I quite like just pulling them all together so I'm pleased I've done that. Um, yeah, so I'll be back when it's dry. It's now dry. I am so, so happy with it. You can clearly see I've added a border. It needed it. The edges, I, I think because the, the corners were all blue, it just didn't look complete somehow. Um, I now think it looks totally complete. I'm so happy. So what I've done is just painted the, the Venetian rose. I've painted that along the edge. And then I've just used a silver marker pen, a silver Sharpie, just to um, sharpen up that border. So it's got a sort of two-tone shadowy effect on the border. Um, so I just think it finishes it. So I'm so happy with it. Um, the colours are absolutely gorgeous. I love this iridescent red-blue red, red blue colour. 
um, I'm really inspired to use this colour again. I haven't used it much. Um, it's not one of my go-to colours, but I'm not sure why. Um, really, really happy with it. The detail of these blooms, just beautiful. I love the white, bright white centres with that dark blue base. So the blue has obviously dried so dark it looks black. Um, I'd be tempted to do it again, but lighten the blue, I think, so that it, it looks more blue. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy. It just, I think with the frame, it just looks like a real sort of completed picture, completed painting. Um, so let me know what you think. Tell me what you think about the border. Do you think it works? Um, I realise not everybody will like that, that I've added to it, but that, that's fine. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to my channel. Great, thank you so much for watching. Bye.